All right, guys, today we're gonna look at uh, how to rough in plumbing for an Ikea vanity or how not to do it. So what we're seeing here is what the plumbers did already. And you can see, hopefully you can see this, there's no way those drawers are gonna close. This is sticking so far out from the wall right here. And uh, here's the glide here, here'd be the back of the drawer you see how far back that's going there's just no way the drawer is going to fit in here so let's just take a look at what the plumber did wrong what we need to do and where you should land your rough in if you're going to be doing an ikea vanity so uh one of the things we'll look at here i'll just unscrew the p-trap kind of get this moved out of the way is the let's take a look at the drain on the Ikea vanity. You see this right here? That slides. This is a special part for the Ikea vanity. It only comes with the top. You can't get this unless you buy the vanity top. So it, it is kind of a bummer. You should be able to buy this separately or source it separately. I'm just gonna move this. This is the overflow hose. Move that out of the way so you can see this here, but there's no way to buy it separately, unfortunately. But what needs to happen is, especially on these double vanities, you can see this is a double vanity here. This is gonna have to swing to one side or the other. So that's gonna turn, and then this is gonna slide, and it has to be able to slide back. Now, right now, if you see this here, it's hitting the water supply coming in. So I'm just gonna kind of move it over, but this is a little bit overextended, but this is the idea is that that's gonna slide back on an angle so that it can get tight to the back wall. There's, not, there's four inches of clearance in the back, and we need that to be able to get tight to the back wall. So if you come around here, you see where that was roughed in. They just missed that center style, but there's no way obviously this is ever gonna work. So this, the trap arm, needs to actually come over and land maybe right about in here so that when we actually put the trap on, you can see how this would be right here. The trap has to actually sit parallel to the back wall. Sorry, that's on backwards, guys. Trap actually has to sit parallel to the back wall. And uh, once you do that and come out of the wall, that's gonna mean that this trap arm needs to land right about there and come out. So you need to really pay attention during rough end stage. You need to know where this vanity is gonna be mounted and you have to be able to land it somewhere in this vicinity. Now, if that water line wasn't there, this could actually kind of tighten up. Maybe we could get it to land over here. That would probably work. And uh, again, the same thing if we had our our trap coming up right there, which you can see in this case, whoops, there's a stud right there that wouldn't work. So you'd have to pay attention to your stud layout and any kind of blocking you might have in the wall for these in order to land the position of your, your sanitary tree with your trap adapter and your trap arm. That's where that would land. So. That wouldn't work with that stud there. Probably needs to really be over here. And that means that drain probably would need to come down right where that water line is coming in. And so all this really needs to be worked out in your framing stage, in your mechanical stage. And the key is to understanding this component of this IKEA vanity and this top, which means you need to have these materials on site for your plumbers, and you need to have a conversation with them. You need to understand how this layout is gonna work and how this part functions. It's completely unique to the IKEA system, and uh, work with them to get everything landed in the right spot. The other problem we have in this particular uh, setup is that they used a female trap adapter with a little stub of pipe there. And that just really pushes that out quite away from the wall. You wanna to try to keep that sanitary tee tight back behind the drywall if possible, and then use a male trap adapter 
which will give you more room to work with because this is only going to be able to be cut so tight. Obviously, they didn't even cut this at all, but you know, you could cut this off, you know, somewhere right about in there, right? Maybe a little bit longer and then slide that in to get it to go farther back, slide it into your trap adapter. But uh, it's only going to be able, to, you're only going to be able to cut that trap arm so much. So you really need your trap adapter to be as tight as possible in the back, maybe even behind the drywall if possible. Use a male trap adapter and not a female with a stub. And uh, that'll hopefully give you enough clearance to get that to sit parallel to the back wall and um, work with this very unique IKEA setup. So you know, those are some of the keys to doing the rough in right. I, I would say in this case, this should have been roughed in on the other side over here. Maybe it had both water lines on the right side to keep those out of the way and then have this uh, trap over on the left side. But, you know, the bottom line is this all needs to be on site, especially if you've never done it before. And this all has to be landed very precisely because um, there's not a lot of margin for error. You're gonna have to know where on the wall it's gonna be mounted, um, especially, you know, kind of in your space. And height is an issue as well, you know. Um, you may, might have a little more, more flexibility on the height. You know, this could be trimmed, um, but um, you can't get too high or too low. It's limited, limited window of opportunity here. So hopefully that gives you some ideas on uh, roughing in an Ikea vanity.